increase his height. So Hank's here at Centerline. He's one of the equine angels, Premarins. He's a two-year-old. And he's in my class because he's been bolting a bit, a little bit hard to handle and fearful of things behind him. So this is our first lesson together of the week where he's going to be learning to overcome these obstacles, get comfortable with things forward and then going through them backwards and moving objects. Beautiful, beautiful. Sit and pull. You're a funny bugger. Br bring him in, bring him at that, sit. Now nah, you don't, yeah, now nah, you don't have him. Okay. doing is just assessing him here and some of the good things he's able to go through the obstacle course forward and no problems with the surfaces you're gonna see that so now we're gonna start backing him through things and put things in the blind area that's part of the assessment to see that certain colors don't phase him certain surfaces don't phase him movement does and from behind us, coming all the way down. That's our plan anyway. So he's got a ton of stuff behind him. That's the object of the exercise, is to have the stimulus behind him and keep him occupied at the front. Makes it look easy. It's a tyre, he's stepping in and over. See, that didn't bother him, and he stepped in and it moved. Just changed the scene a little for the guy. And he graduates from there. So the original fear was the balloons. We had to take them out. Now we've included the balloons in a way as a target, but right in front of him. Because <laughs> it's movement we've discovered. So that's pretty neat. Excellent, and then just go on off through your obstacle course. You know, he wants more, just walk off. 
Perfect. <laughs> you have to negotiate that piece. Oh, he broke it. Oh, sorry for the for the birthday girl. <laughs> I'm going to have to do. Do you see that? That there was the thought, is it? Floats away. He said, "I'm not a birthday into, girl." Into um, Connecticut skies. Somebody's going to have a birthday wish. But the, I'd rather have kids <laughs> than bolts. <laughs> wow. But that that actually was pretty awesome. It's pretty tight, but you can do it. No, I, I reckon he can do it. Look at that, see? Even if you negotiate the circle a bit. There's our new obstacle, as Sarah pointed out. <laughs> He's joining us as a predator. There we go, that worked pretty well. And from behind? Yeah. You can do it. I know you can. Come on, buddy. I know you can. Careful, you're stifled. Oh, good boy! <laughs> so Candice is here with B, and we're looking to strengthen the connection between the two of them. And so today we decided for, for bareback so that she could feel B underneath her, feel the body, feel the movements. I've loosened the reins some, so you're seeing that, and we've discovered that she neck reins, which is fabulous too. We've got a nice forward motion, and they're pretty connected right now. Just neck rein. Sorry. Just neck rein for a moment, so that you know you can. Continue neck reining, beautiful. Like butter. Like butter. She's yeah. totally like butter. That's very funny. Beautiful. And then without the hands, think it, think it, and breathe into your feet. Visualize a four beat when you're ready. No hands, the four beat. One, two, sit deep. Think about the walk. You're doing really, really well. Just think about the walk. Continue thinking, putting the weight into your lower part exactly. And one, two, three, four in your head. Not bad, not bad at all. Riding in the jeans. <laughs> there we go. Look at the confidence. Love it. It's been about four or five years since Candice has done that, and I don't believe on B. Not sure, but it's pretty neat. Lovely and relaxed. What we're looking for is her to be able to bring B down to a walk without any hands. And that, that was our best one. I'm so pleased I'm recording it because your hands didn't move. Oh. <laughs> it was gorgeous. This is Abby. She was in the class last year as a Belgian who is bolting. But um, look at her now. Sarah's brought her all this way. She's being started under saddle. She had the sur single on a few times, saddle on a few times, and so she's just learning the direction, speed control, and getting more and more comfortable with all of this. There we go. Abby at a trot. She's a three-year-old. She's one of Frank Wellers from Equine Angels. She's up for adoption. So take a good look. Looking for a wonderful home, you've got to match at least a five-star hotel. I guess because she always offers 